Hello and welcome to this video where we are in introducing this uh, tutorial that you can run on the developer sandbox, a free to access environment. And uh, you will learn today a um, few tips and few basics about large language models. And it's uh, focused on LLMs and how to create tools, but using Apache Camel, the integration framework. Now, all right, uh, let's quickly uh, have a look at uh, what this tutorial is all about. So this is you, this is uh, you creating the entire thing. You will first start by deploying into the environment, so uh, OpenShift. You're going to push an LLM server, very small one because it's uh, an environment with very limited resources, but still it is great that uh, we can execute an LLM we can deploy an LLM server. And then you are going to go through the entire creation process of creating processing flows that are going to be interacting with your LLM. So you start from zero and then with uh, you start designing and creating the flow, you iterate, you start adding features, you add a UI, you add uh, camel roots, uh, process flows, and uh, you test them, you interact with the LLM server that you have and eventually when you are happy, you export that into a Quarkus application and you will push that and deploy it on OpenShift as well and you will see both together interacting as a deployable um, uh, environment or uh, running applications uh, on um, pods. Right, so let's see how you provision your environment. So we have a link here that is going to help you with that and it's going to do that automatically. But then there's a series of actions you have to take to ensure you start your documentation and all the guiding instructions. Uh, but first, let's pretend this is the first time uh, you access the developer sandbox and you don't have uh, an account uh, to use. So I'm going to simulate that with an incognito window as there's no cookies. So when I create that, uh, you are going to see the first thing is just a window that is going to uh, ask you to introduce your data and to register and create an account. Now, this is just uh, to so that you have an account, but it's totally free and you are going to really enjoy this uh, tutorial. And uh, this lasts for a month. So for a month, you can uh, go and have fun and play with the environment. All right, going back uh, to where we were, uh, basically, now that uh, we know after the registration, then you can come back here and click. And this is going to automatically trigger the environment. So uh, I've uh, clicked on that uh, button and this is, like I say, going to see if you have anything already provisioned. If not, uh, you're allowed only one workspace uh, per account. So you need to make sure your workspace is clean. But as you can see, everything kickstarts and this is going just to take I don't know, uh, perhaps a minute or two because there's uh, many elements that need to be uh, put in place and uh, uh, images downloaded and so on. But uh, let's just uh, give it uh, a few more seconds and, and then we carry on. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we have dev spaces in front of our eyes. We can close the welcome window um, and the first thing that we want to do is follow uh, those instructions that we saw earlier and uh, open our documentation guide. Uh, so for that, uh, we just uh, click here on endpoints. This is still loading, but basically we scroll this up and we find our tutorial endpoint. So we click uh, there on that icon. Uh, we accept, we say open. And this is going to open what we call the Solution Explorer. You see there are two tiles because we are going to have here a collection of tutorials, but today is all about large language models. So basically you want to click the LLM tools one. So when you click uh, this one, then you will be presented with a summary of uh, the tutorial and all the chapters that uh, you are going to have. And basically all you need to do is go and click uh, get started. Uh, right. So. Once you do that, then you just uh, follow the instructions and then uh, you should be fine. Now here, uh, what I'm going to do is just to show you some of the uh, highlights of the things you are going to be doing. But basically, you have to follow there uh, the other project that is unrelated to LLMs. Uh, here, we are just focusing on, on uh, Camel. And so basically, what you want to do is open a terminal, 
as indicated in the documentation. And here you have uh, various projects. Make sure you choose LLM basics again. And this is going to open a terminal just right on the folder you want. And basically there's a series of scripts that are going to uh, um, um, help you with everything. But basically you say start and this is going to already uh, pre-populate uh, with uh, some uh, basic files there. At the, at the beginning, you only have two of them, right? So it's a Java file and applications file, but you are starting from scratch, really. And you see that it says, start in the lab, step zero, ready to go, right? So basic LLM interaction. Now, we are not going to do it everything because it takes a little while, uh, but you are going to go through it. And uh, what is very neat about the tutorial is that you have a function called fast forward so you can go quickly instead of uh, creating every single file uh, as the tutorial you can go forward so I'm going to say FF and as you can see I'm going to be progressing so now I'm on step one and you see that now I have here a, uh, a, a camel file uh, that I can open and if I click on it uh, normally you create this uh, by yourself but uh, because we did the uh, fast forward uh, then this is going to show you what you uh, would have uh, created. And so this is uh, Kaoto, what you see on screen is a graphical editor for uh, Apache Camel. And basically this is the flow that shows that we are expose, exposing an HTTP entry point. Uh, we are creating an AI message and then we are sending that message to call the large language model. So basically this is a very easy one, right? Uh, so yeah, you are going to be playing with these. You can configure these components. Uh, you can uh, see everything that you need to do. Uh, so again, something great uh, to learn about. I'm going to close this and basically I'm going to keep going forward. So I'm going to say fast forward and then uh, add a chat UI. So you add more elements to, to, to the tutorial. And I'm going to get to a point where we want to test this, right? So it says try the chat UI. And to execute uh, the, uh, the elements and the uh, processes, uh, basically we are going to be using uh, Camel JBank, which is a CLI that uh, allows you to prototype very, very fast and to iterate and uh, um, uh, be very quick on your uh, development process. And that's precisely what the tutorial is about. So we are going to run what we have uh, at this stage and I'm going to say Camel run everything basically on that root file. I'm going to click enter and this is going to uh, find all the dependencies for you. You don't need to worry about dependencies or anything. You just can uh, run everything uh, like uh, I just did. And it's going to find that HTTP entry point. It's going to expose it. We are going to get a notification. There it is. You are going to say, uh, okay, open it on a, on a new tab. We are going to say yes. And at this point, it is opening that UI that uh, you would have uh, created. Now here you would be talking to your LLM. So I'm going to say, hello, uh, how uh, are you? So you can do this and uh, you can get your first interaction with the LLM. Uh, it should respond in a second. If it takes a little while, well, there you go. Uh, so it's going to respond, but you could actually, uh, you know, ask the same thing in French. Uh, Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Now, even though it's uh, very tiny, it still is able to uh, talk in various languages. We can say, hola, como estas? And uh, well, this is uh, again, uh, something very easy that you probably have seen in many places, but uh, you have created this yourself with the environment. I'm going to close this and we are going to keep uh, going forward. And basically we can close this. And at one point uh, we are going to uh, put it all together and then deploy this on OpenShift. And I want to show you very quickly the result of that. So uh, I'm going to open here the uh, OpenShift uh, console uh, that uh, you will do the same following the tutorial. Uh, but uh, let's have a quick look. Uh, we will see on our um, console topology. Uh, let me see if it's there. And um, there you go. So you have the LLM that you have deployed during your tutorial. And then you have the final application that you have constructed and deployed on OpenShift. This is a Quarkus engine and it has a link where it has that nice interface we've uh, seen earlier. I'm not going to interact here with it because I don't want to spoil it for you. 
but basically you are going to create very smart uh, tools that are going to be interacting and retrieving live uh, data from services uh, out there. Uh, so, okay, so with it, uh, I'll leave it with you. And uh, I just hope that uh, you go and you provision the tutorial and you have a lot of fun. Uh, thank you very much for listening and uh, be brave and go for it. Thank you. Bye.